if I don't want to be connected with you on a leisure social level, like Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, what the hell makes you think that I'm going to connect with you on LinkedIn? Like, Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica, or you can call me Jess. Either one works. And today we're going to be getting into another story time. But before we get into it, I just want to say thank you for having me reach 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Like, I didn't think I would hit 100 by the end of this year. So I really appreciate it. Let's try to get to 150 um, if we can. So if you're new here, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you like this content. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for tuning in again. And let's get into it. Okay, so this story time takes place in 2016. I was in college at the time, and this more so has to do with the aftermath of my date, not really the date itself. So I just want to make that clear before I jump into details of the story. So <laughs> I used to work at my college back in the day, and I used to meet, you know, a lot of people. But there was this one guy that basically, you know, he would come in from time to time and I didn't notice him until I was sitting at the front desk one day. So I'm sitting at the front desk, you know, I greet him, whatever. He seems really friendly and he starts, you know, talking to me, like, you know, having conversation, asking, you know, more about me, like what I studied on campus, blah, 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 blah. And one thing I did notice is that I didn't really recognize him. Like I didn't see him on campus before and I was already into like damn near my third year of college by this point. Like I think I'd been there for a few years, like at least two years. I had been on campus for two years, but you know, I didn't recognize him. I had never so. seen him before until he popped up at my job. So um, he told me that he was he was either a part of this group, I'm not gonna say the group at the school, but basically it was a popular group on campus, group slash club on campus, or I should say association on campus he was a part of, or he wanted to be a part of. So yeah, he had told me that and I was like, okay, I'm familiar with that group, whatever, whatever. And then he, you know, leaves me alone. He goes and does this After thing. that, um, a few days goes by, whatever, and I'm back at work and he pops up again. But this time I was sitting like in the back office, not the front desk this time. Sorry if my camera just cut off. I just had to drink some water really quick. Anyway, so I'm sitting in the back office this time, not the front, and he goes back there and he says, you know, hey again, we start talking again. Again, just basic small talk, small conversation and I can't remember if this was the same day. I doubt it, but basically he had asked me, I, I feel like it was after he had met me up in the back office or whatever. So fast forward to the night of the date. Um, he comes to me and is like, you know, like, hey, what are you doing? Like in text message, like, cause I think we exchanged phone numbers or something. Cause you know, by then we had already had like a few conversations. So he was like, hey, like, what are you doing after work? And I worked the last shift. Like I worked until like 1030 at night. I think it was that night. Yeah, I worked the last shift. So it was pretty late, but I was like, nothing. I'm not doing anything afterwards. Like I'm probably just gonna go home like I usually do. And he was like, oh, well, do you want to like grab something to eat afterwards? And then, you know, I'll take you home. And I know my dumb ass should not have, you know, taken a ride with people. See, this is the problem. Because back then I didn't drive, you know, I, it was hard for me to meet up with people on dates. So I would always just go with them on dates. And I know that's stupid. Like, don't do that. On any first date, you should always meet up with the person. You should never get in the car with somebody, even if they seem really cool or they seem really nice. You just never know. You never know nowadays. But anyway, um, that's besides the point. I went into the car with him after work. I got off work. And I'm thinking, you know, we're going to go somewhere close by, like, because there was restaurants to eat at near our campus. Like, there was a lot of places to eat around campus, but, you know, or I was thinking we were going to go downtown or something. But no, he takes me all the way to, like, a different county. Like, we're in the city where, you know, colleges or where campus is. And he's taking me, I don't know why he took me, like, to whatever the county the suburbs or whatever so and i was familiar with that area so it wasn't that big of a deal i was just wondering why he would go out of his way to do that but anyway 
Um, and also the restaurant we ate at, it wasn't anything special. Like we could have eaten that around campus. Like I didn't really care, honestly, I was just hungry. And y'all know, you know, I wasn't in the mood to pass up a meal, especially after I got off of work, I was hungry. So yeah, I'm definitely about to go whatever. And he seemed okay. So we go to the restaurant and you know, we sit down, we're talking, and honestly, the date is kind of a blur to me because we didn't really talk about anything super significant. It was a very basic, basic date, basic conversation. Um, I ordered a burger and fries. That's all I remember. Like, I ordered the most basic thing on the menu. I didn't want to order something, you know, like super expensive, whatever, just in case I had to pay for it. I know from my last story time, I kind of had PTSD from you know, like that last, that last date I had been on, but you know, he didn't seem like he would do something like that to me. He seemed like he would be the type of person to pay for the, you know, pay for the date. And again, he asked me out, so it didn't matter to me regardless. So yeah, he took me out. I ate burger and fries. It was cool. He drove me back home. Everything was fine. And, but y'all know, like, you know, when you go out with somebody and things seem cool at first, but then a couple days go by and it kind of just sinks into you like, okay, um, I don't think this is really going to work out. <laughs> like, as in, I don't see any romantic interest in you, basically. Like, he was really cool. Don't get me wrong. At first, he, at first, he was really friendly. He was really cool. But it was just something about it where I just didn't get that spark, like... I just, I didn't feel anything. A few days later, like I texted him, I was like, hey, I said something along the lines like, hey, I appreciate, you know, you taking me, out, taking me out the other night, but you know, I don't really see us as going further. So I just want to be friends, basically. I, y'all know, I friend zoned him. I don't want to do this anymore. When I tell you guys what happened next, <laughs> this, this guy, <laughs> I'm expecting like a normal response or even no response at all. Honestly, if he hadn't responded to me at all, I, that would have been a lot better than what was about to happen next. He, you know, proceeds to write me an entire novel, a dissertation. Um, <laughs> like I was really confused. I was so confused. Like, sir, like what? I, I didn't even type you a paragraph. So why are you typing me back like a whole novel and dissertation? Me a whole like novel dissertation explaining basically how going out with me was a waste of time. Um, you know, that I just wanted a free meal, which, you know, yeah, I, I can see that now. But <laughs> like, oh, like I want a free meal. But sir, in my defense, that burger was like $12.99, like $13 at the most. That shit was not expensive. I don't know what to tell you. I already, after the date, I already wasn't too sure if I wanted to continue with him, but after a few days sunk in, I, I just knew that I didn't want to continue any further with him. So yeah, he starts basically, I don't remember if he was cussing at me, I can't remember, but it was a long, a long drawn out message, y'all. Like a very long drawn out message, basically saying that again, it was a waste of time, whatever. So I text that, I texted back, I was like, um, you know, I was like, I'm sorry you feel that way, but you know, I'm really not trying to be rude. I just, you know, this is just how I feel. I just wanted to be honest with you. Just giving him a very basic answer. Like I'm not being rude to him back at all. Like I'm just telling him literally how I feel. And I could have cussed him out. I could have done anything else, but I was like, that's just gonna make the situation worse. And I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, I wish I could say the story ends here, but unfortunately, there's there's more so i go back to school you know on campus everything is normal to me and my friend comes to me and tells me that her one of her friends is mutual friends with this girl that also talked to the guy um i never gave him a name i just realized that um we're just, we'll just call him levi because yeah, I don't know anybody with that name. So she basically was like, yeah, she's talking or, you know, there was other, a few other details, but it, honestly, that's not really relevant to my story. So, you know, apparently he was involved with this girl, whatever. And this girl apparently was saying about me that I look like I talk to anybody and I look like, you know, I look like I talk to anybody basically. And my friend was like, um, no, like it's basically the opposite way around. This, you know, this guy is the one that's talking to her and is trying to pursue her and is texting her crazy stuff, you know, whatever. And, you know, she came to my defense or whatever at the time. And 
you know, I was like, yeah, I don't know where she got that from. I don't even know this girl. And honestly, if she wants this, uh, if she wants this man, she can, she can have him because I never wanted him to begin with. So if that's the case. Okay. That's boom. That's perfect. Like, okay. So he got somebody else. All right, cool. Then he can go with her. But I was still confused. Like, why was he so upset that I didn't want to pursue him if that's what it was the entire time? Because this happened in a span of within like a week or two, like maybe two weeks at most, like. It wasn't that long, you know, of a time of a time span that this was all happening. So she was like, yeah, I don't know where she got that from. She was just being, you know, weird, whatever, when she said that. But, you know, he seems crazy. Like my friend, <laughs> I know when my friend watches this, she's going to know exactly who I'm talking about. But um, anyway, she was like, yeah, I don't know where she got that from. But he seems, girl, he seems crazy. Like he seems something, mm -mm, something's wrong with him. And I was like, yeah, something is wrong with him. Like he's... He's, he was like going off on me for what? Like going off on me for no reason. And I was just trying to be honest with him. Like, I don't want to go out with you again. That's it. Like it's not that serious. I can never meet like normal people, like normal dates to go out with. Like, I just, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know what's going on. So <laughs> basically after that whole, you know, that whole situation, um, I think he reaches out to me again. I'm pretty sure he reaches out to me again and I respond back with, you know, okay, like I heard that you, you know, you were talking to somebody else and you were this, that, and the third. So, you know, if that's what, if that's the case anyway, then I don't see what the need was to be hostile with me. I said something along those lines. Those may not have been my exact words, but I'm pretty sure that's along the lines of what I said to him. And y'all, this man... <laughs> This man proceeds to tell me that he has different bees. Y'all know the word. I'm not going to say it, but he got different women in his DMs waiting for him and all this other stuff. And I was just like, oh, so <laughs> if that's the case, like, then again, why are you so pressed over me? Like, what's what's the problem? And he tried to act like he wasn't pressed over me and again, proceeds to write me novels dissertations oh so basically he was like yeah i got different women and blah, 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 blah. like you know like you're just you know you're just mad that you can't get to me and i was like okay okay whatever. like at that point i just yo, i gave up i was like all right eff it like I'm, I'm not about to deal with this like i never found you funny i never found you entertaining i never found you smart i just found you annoying you're crazy something's wrong with you like clearly the littlest things, like literally the littlest things that are not meant to be offen offensive or harmful offend you for some reason that you had to go off on me like that. So that was, he was weird for that. He was just a weirdo for that. This man added me on every social media that I had at that time. After this entire situation, what I had just told y'all, he just adds me on every social media. This man even adds me on LinkedIn. Like, why are you adding me on a professional network? Like, if I don't wanna be connected with you on a leisure social level, like Instagram, Snapchat, whatever, what the hell makes you think that I'm gonna connect with you on LinkedIn? Like, for what, what, so we can be work associates? Like, we're not even interested in the same stuff. Like, just like, oh my gosh, like something is wrong with him. Like, I was telling my friends like, yo, like what is wrong with him? Like, he's adding me on everything. And it was very clear that I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to get with him like that. And he had an attitude about it and he just went off on me. So why is he adding me on social media? Like what, what is the reason? What's the purpose? Like pick a side, like pick a side. Like, are you with me or are you against me? Like what's, what's the problem? So <laughs> basically after that, you know, after he adds me on everything and I decline everything, I'm pretty sure I blocked him. I blocked him on everything. Cause I was like, oh, I'm not about to deal with this. Um, shit, I haven't blocked him on LinkedIn. Cause I was like, I don't want to work with you or I don't want anything. I just want nothing to do with you at this point because now you're, it's getting to a point where you're getting too evasive. You're getting kind of crazy. So no, I'm not, I'm not going to add you on anything. And funny thing is, um, like a year or two later, I think it was like a year later and some change left. I was on the computer one day at work and I get an email saying I have a new invite or I have a new connection. And I had made a different LinkedIn account at this time. So the one I currently have now is the last account that I made. So he adds me on that one too, y'all. Hello and welcome to another edition of Who Do You Think I Am?
like I wasn't gonna recognize his name first and last picture was on there and he still looked the same and I was like yeah no I'm declining this I don't remember if I blocked him or I declined it I'm pretty sure I blocked him but I was just like this is ridiculous like something something's wrong with this guy so yeah that was basically my crazy date story time how my date turned out to be crazy and now y'all see why I, I wasn't going out on dates like that because stuff like this happened thank you guys so much for tuning into my video i appreciate it again i appreciate everybody who has subscribed so far and if you're a new viewer and you like this content you like my video please go ahead and subscribe like this video share this content um it really helps and i also want to say that you guys can follow me, of course, on Instagram and Twitter. Usually I update things about YouTube on those platforms. So those are the social media sites I'm the most active on. And everything else will be listed in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.